So what you're seeing right now is the midst of us doing some major construction over here at Hatima Farms. And I'm gonna come back and look at this. And what do you think we're making here? And I'm gonna tell you, it's actually a really big piece of our next step for what we're doing with Hatima Farms and what we're doing with the rabbits. But I'll let you see a close inspection. Here we've created this wonderful border double created on the inside so you have a lining able to come here to the other side nailed and drilled down here so if anybody wants to donate a drill to us trust me and believe me we would definitely use it but I'm going to come out again and I'm going to show you part two or part one of what was actually created over here and if you can see it in the distance, we're actually starting composting. So this is actually just the regular compost for what we do here at the house by putting our foods and scraps and our manure in. This is a top layer of mulch. But if you can see here, this is our rabbit manure here so look at all the manure we've stored up you mind checking mm -mm. and that's the health of it look at the worms i'm going to try to dig in for a second can i dig in there we go so this is actually is this all manure manure grass what else yeah. there's some kitchen waste kitchen waste in here yeah. and soil. it gets composed and this is our soil here so what we're doing is what I kind of talked about before is creating healthy soil so we can use it in order to fertilize and make things go. Now, one of those secret facts is, now what's that? Why is that white? Has it dried? Yeah, it was dried. So we dried some, um, but you can actually, and that's what I was about to say, use rabbit manure when it's moist or really immediately. So a lot of the other manures out there have to um, decompose, is that the correct right word? Yeah. But it has to decompose, decompose and um, all that where rabbit manure doesn't. So we're creating this plus the other second piece because the way that compost works here, can you hold this? It's recording. Is that you're supposed to turn it over with the sun, right? Am I actually supposed to turn it over? Mm -hmm. This is gonna be hilarious. I'm out here in my white pants <laughs> and outfit. So that's it. We're actually putting a layer of grass over it so it can sit. But you actually turn it over. See, look. Yeah. <clears throat> but look at that. So it will be turn, uh, turned over every week. It gets turned over every week. Look at that yeah. worm right there. Oh, that's good soil, baby. That's good soil. So it gets turned over once a week. Yeah. So um, let me go back to show you the actual bins because what's happened is if you see the same contraption, we did it here, but we used a mesh wiring on the inside to help compose it. And I'm gonna be honest with you. It don't stink all the way. Like if a stank was a stank degree of like one to ten, two, it's a two. Yeah. I mean, you could tell this poo poo, but it ain't all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. but looking back in, and then the top, or not the top, the front, I want to show you the front so it can grow with it. We created these slits here. So you can easily just move up and down the bamboo so when it gets higher we're able to make it higher and if we ever go back and go lower so we will have this compost available here at hot summer farm so we're doing this in order to help um actually with some of the science that we've done is while we have a prefla look up that word of urine prefla of urine and urine can be fertilizer and urine can be pesticide, we're also creating a special concoction 
for the manure fertilizer, especially when it's time to actually plant into growth. And what I mean by that is that you can use your liquid fertilizer to just enhance the soil, which is what you saw at the farm. But if you're planting, let's say that you're out trying to plant the trees and you need to put fertilizer in to help hook in and get those nutrients immediately to the roots, you wanna use something like this concoction here. So this is the concoction we're building. And we also have some garden beds that we'll be working on and figuring out to help show you guys some of the work that's been happening. But Hatima Farms is moving and growing strong. So, I guess this is the time when you have to officially sell. If you want to get anything from Hatima Farms, Hatima Farms, H-A-T-I-M-A-F-A-R-M-S at gmail.com, and we'll take care of you. We take care of you. We have a very strong team that comes out and surveys the scene. What a gangster lean, but we take care of everything that you need so you have the best garden, crops, everything possible. Check you later, babies. Yeah, we just letting y'all linger for a while.